This video tutorial will go over inventory, physical counts in My Vision Express. Reconcile your inventory item on hand quantities in My Vision Express with your physical item counts using the physical counts screen. We will go over how to perform a physical count by importing a CSV file manually with no barcode scanner, manually with a barcode or UPC number, and with a barcode scanner. Let's begin by looking at how to import a CSV file. Navigate to File, Inventory, Physical Counts. Synchronize your inventory before adjusting your physical counts from this screen. You will get a reminder to do so when you access this screen. Click on the Yes button to synchronize your inventory counts. You will also see an alert that tells you that this process will update the inventory quantity purchased and sold for all locations. We will go ahead and say yes. This is going to synchronize our inventory counts. In the physical counts window, the location which you're performing this physical count should already be selected in the physical count field. This defaults to the location that you're currently logged into. Under the item type, select the item type for which you're performing a physical count. Click on the Import File button. In this window, click on Import File button once again. This is going to allow you to search where you have your CSV file saved that you want to import in. Once you locate the CSV file in your computer, you will see under Files Imported the file name and you will see under File Details the details that are coming in from that file. If you are processing multiple CSV files, just select the Import File button again to bring in the additional files. Once you are done, select the OK button in that window. You will now see that in the Physical Counts window, it has brought over all of the information from the CSV file that was imported. You can use the Save button if you need to pause the count for any reason. If this is the first time that you save the transaction, the ID number will be assigned to it and it will be displayed in the ID field. The status of the physical count will then be set to Open. You can always come back later and search for the physical count that you have already started. To search for a physical count that has already been previously saved, navigate to File, Inventory, Physical Counts. Synchronize your inventory before adjusting your physical counts from this screen. You will get a reminder to do so when you access this screen. Click on the Yes button to synchronize your inventory counts. You will also see an alert that tells you that this process will update the inventory quantity purchased and sold for all locations. We will go ahead and say Yes. This is going to synchronize our inventory counts. In the Physical Counts window, select on the search button on the right hand side. You can search for the physical count that has been previously saved by using any of the search criteria available in this window. In this example, I just want to see my physical count with a status of open. I will go ahead and select search and this is going to give me my physical count that I have previously saved, ID number 148. From there, I can continue to update my physical count. When you are ready to update the on-hand count into My Vision Express, click on the Update On-Hand button at the bottom. You will be prompted if you would like to reset any on-hand quantity to zero for items that were not counted. If you answer no here, the on-hand amounts will only reset for the items that were counted. At the end, you will see that your inventory run completed successfully and say OK. It will also prompt you to print barcode labels for these inventory items. Click on the Print Summary button at the bottom to print the physical count report. Now let's go over how to perform a physical count manually with no barcode scanner. Navigate to File, Inventory, Physical Counts. Synchronize your inventory before adjusting your physical counts from this screen. You will get a reminder to do so when you access this screen. Click on the Yes button to synchronize your inventory counts. You will also see an alert that tells you that this process will update the inventory quantity purchased and sold for all locations. We will go ahead and say Yes. This is going to synchronize our inventory counts. In the Physical Counts window, select the location you're doing the physical count for. Also, select the item type for the physical count that you're performing. In our example, we will do a physical count for frames. Select the manufacturer that you would want to do a physical count for. In our example, I will use Luxottica. 
it is also recommended that you do this by group of collection making it easier to complete the physical count since no barcode scanner is going to be used i will select from my collection list the collection i want to perform a physical count for I will now use the Fill Unscan Items button at the bottom, which is going to include in the count items that have not been scanned or manually added, since we don't have a barcode scanner or know the UPC numbers. This is going to bring in all of the items in the inventory listing for this item type selected. If you need to remove a line from the physical count, select it and click on the Delete button at the bottom of the screen. This is not to be confused with the delete button on the upper right hand section. This will ask you if you're sure if you want to delete the selected row, say OK and it will remove that row for you. Once you have this list generated, here is a tip. Right click on your list and select the print option. This will print out a listing of the items that you see in this physical count window. Use this list to write down how many quantities you have of each one of these frames. This will make it easier when you come back into the physical count window to update your quantities on hand. Under the quantity column, enter the amount of quantity that you have for each one of those frames. If your quantity does not equal your on hand count, and you leave this at for example 0 here when my on hand is 1, you will see either a positive or a negative variance in the variance column. Once you are done entering the quantities, you will see a total in the quantity at the bottom. The last thing to do is to select Update on Hand. This is going to ask if you like to set the inventory to zero for any of the items that were not currently scanned. Click Yes to continue, No to only update the only scanned items, or Cancel to verify the unscanned items. This process is going to update your inventory on hand and it cannot be reversed. In this particular scenario, I have added everything in my inventory listing, so I can say yes to continue. This will go ahead and update my on-hand count and give me a successful message once it is done. You can also print out barcode labels for these items now. Once you're done printing the barcode labels if needed, you can select print summary to print out a summary of the physical count that was done. Your physical count is now completed with an ID number and a status of closed. Now let's go over how to perform a physical count manually with barcode or UPC numbers. Navigate to File, Inventory, Physical Counts. Synchronize your inventory before adjusting your physical counts from this screen. You will get a reminder to do so when you access this screen. Click on the Yes button to synchronize your inventory counts. You will also see an alert that tells you that this process will update the inventory quantity purchased and sold for all locations. We will go ahead and say yes. This is going to synchronize our inventory counts. In the physical counts window, start by selecting the location for which you're performing the physical count. Then select the item type, for example, we will use frames. Select the manufacturer for the frames that you're doing a physical count for. And again, it is recommended to do this by collection. If the collection field is left blank, this will indicate that you are doing a physical count for all frames listed under the manufacture of Lux Exotica. In this particular example, I will go ahead and select a collection here from the dropdown. Next, we are going to go into the UPC field. In this field, we are going to enter the UPC number or the barcode number for the item that we are going to do a physical count for. Once you select Add or Enter on your keyboard, it will add that item into the Physical Count window. To add additional items here, just go back to the UPC field and keep typing in all of the UPC numbers or barcode numbers that you want to use for this Physical Count, just as we did the first one. Once you're done adding all of those items to your physical counts list, go over to the quantity column. All of the quantities have been entered as one. That is coming in from the quantity field that is set up to bring in one item. Go ahead and make the changes in the quantity field as needed. Remember that any variances from your on-hand count will appear in the variance column. Once you're done entering and updating all of your quantities, you want to select the Update on Hand button at the bottom. 
It will ask you if you would like to set the inventory to any of the items not scanned or any of the items not brought in. For example, since we did this manually, it's referring to all of the other items that are in your inventory listing. Click yes if you want to continue, which will set those items to zero, or click no to only update the items that are on your list in the physical count. This process will update your inventory on hand and cannot be reversed. In this example, I only want to update the items that are currently in this physical count, so I will say no. Once you are done updating your on-hand count, you will get an alert letting you know that the inventory run completed successfully. It will also give you a prompt asking if you want to print barcode labels. Once you are done printing those labels, you can then print out a summary of the physical count that has been performed. You are now done with this physical count and you will see an ID number and a status of close. Now let's go over how to perform a physical count with a barcode scanner. Navigate to File, Inventory, Physical Counts. Synchronize your inventory before adjusting your physical counts from this screen. You will get a reminder to do so when you access this screen. Click on the Yes button to synchronize your inventory counts. You will also see an alert that tells you that this process will update the inventory quantity purchased and sold for all locations. We will go ahead and say Yes. This is going to synchronize our inventory counts. Once you're in the physical count window, select the location for which you want to perform the physical count. The default location that you are logged into should already be there in that location field. Select the item type for which you're performing the physical count for. You can also filter by manufacturer in the manufacturer field, and you can also use the collection filter for the items that you're doing a physical count for. In this example, we will be performing a physical count for Luxottica Prada frames. In the scan section, we're going to set the quantity to scan one. In the UPC field, you can go ahead and place your cursor. Then you will continue by scanning all of the barcode labels for these frames. Once you're done scanning all of your inventory items, you can use the consolidate button to merge the counts for similar items into a single line. Select the fill variance button at the bottom of the page to bring in any inventory items that were not scanned for which you do have an on-hand count for. Once you're done entering the quantities, click on the update on hand button at the bottom of the page. For this example, we will click no to update only the scanned items. This process will update your inventory on hand and it cannot be reversed. Once the inventory run has completed successfully, you can then print out any barcodes for the frames. Your physical count is now complete with its ID number and a status of closed. Click on the print summary button at the bottom to print the physical count report. This concludes this video tutorial on inventory physical counts with MyVision Express.